Hi, today we'll be interviewing Dr. Monica Surana. She is a maxillofacial surgeon and a fellow in facial plastic and cosmetic surgery. She has also been trained in hair transplant surgery as well. Currently, she's doing patients pertaining to maxillofacial and facial cosmetic surgery alone. She's going to answer the important question whether female dentists should get into maxillofacial surgery. If you're interested, stay tuned. I'm Dr. Sadish Kumar, this is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed. Hi, Dr. Monica. Thank you for taking your time to join us today because you're going to talk on a topic which I get a lot of questions from a female dentist about, whether we should get into oral surgery being a female dentist. So my first question to you is, were you always thinking that you should do MDS after BDS or you were confused whether it should be MDS karna hai or you do not have to do MDS? Okay, so the journey started like I was always interested into the cosmetic part of the face, right? So I told the doctors in my family to for a guidance that I went, when I went to them that I want to do something with the face. I want to make people beautiful. So they, they told me that uh, you can go into MBBS and then you can do all this stuff as well. But I said, I have deal with the body. Then they told me that even cosmetic dentistry is something that you can do. And um, that is a good field for females, especially because that doesn't, is not emergency driven. So that is how the BDS journey began. And as and when I got interested in subjects like anatomy, that was the base. Because it was like self-understanding. You could feel and touch your own uh, face or your muscles and you could understand stuff. So that got me into surgery in final year. There were nine subjects, but I specifically got interested into oral surgery. So whenever I even answer for other people who come up and tell me that Monica, uh, what, what field should we go for? We have three options, oral surgery, prostho and all the clinical branches. So my one answer is just that if it is only oral surgery, go for it. If you have an option, then never go for it. So it, it has to be that dedicated for you that you just want that. Maybe your first love out of dentistry. It has to be that. Otherwise, you cannot. That, no, that is how best it, thing about yeah. your journey is you got into BDS by choice. Yes, yes, yes. I was not forced into it. Okay, because a lot of people don't get MBBS. That's why they think about BDS. Yeah, and that has been a previous norm that uh, if you did not get into MBBS, the second best is at least a white collar or a doctor. Properly, you can write a doctor is dentist. But I don't think so. That was not never the case. Yeah. Understood. So in your case, you always wanted to do BDS. Then after that, as you were studying, you always realized you wanted to do oral surgery. Okay. But whenever we talk about oral surgery for females, there are a lot of people who tell it is risky to get into oral surgery because you do not get consultations. People do not prefer female dentists as surgeons. Getting hospital consultations is difficult. If you become a surgeon per se, your uh, schedules might be there. Uh, it'd be difficult if you have a hospital tie-up or such. So were they people who made you fear getting into oral surgery at that point of time or told you don't get into it? Uh, my family has been very supportive and so the fear was out of the box when I joined dentistry. All the saliva, blood, everything was out of the box. Per se, as a female, I would say there have been a bit of challenges and even now I feel because at this age also I'm not married. So even now if I go for an interview or something, there are questions which are pertaining and they are technical and they're right. So if somebody is going to hire me, they're going to obviously ask me, where are you going to settle? Are you settled? For a female, because we have to shift places. For a guy, for a male, it's okay. They can start and they can plan their clinic even when they are in residency. So per se, in oral surgery, that is the factor that drives the decision whether to go for oral surgery or not. But if you see the trend, this was about my journey, but if in general see a trend, if there are 50 people out of a batch of 100 who are opting for PG in BDS, more and more females are now getting into surgery. More and more are getting into clinical. That has been, even in my three years of journey, in my residency, there were more females rather than males. In fact, in my batch, there were two females and there was a guy. Wow. So That's a change in oral the surgery. Trend has, obviously, the trend has shifted. The trend has shifted. Earlier, there used to be four guys to one. Like It was 90 to 10 ratio. 
but now either it is equal or there are more females in surgery yeah. so the best example if you have to quote for a female surgeon that has been always and it is for everybody is neela madra de mem be it male or a female she has been given the biggest responsibility in covid to handle the biggest uh, nesco i think it was jumbo facility yes. that she handled so that has been a general trend shift that either it's equal or more or more females are getting into surgery now regarding the emergency part or whether you would get consultations or not that solely depends on your own will power your stubbornness i would say and your family support and the and the uh, area you are in if it's a remote place where they actually think that a surgeon is only a male doctor then you cannot change people's mentality you can slowly build up your work and that will maybe change their mentality but as of in in residencies in colleges also we are only called as surgeons we are given equal emergency duties be it 3 am in the morning and the amount of work also is equally divided between male and female so there is no gender biasness that i've seen in terms of residency or clinical this thing but yes when it comes to joining a facility that is the question of that are you going to settle here what amount of commitment in terms of years can you give so that is one thing that you cannot change and that's nature's call so we can't do anything about it and rest is consultations okay. no major problems in cities and everything but you might have problems joining facilities till you're not sure you're set in a given position exactly that is one thing that uh, we face and they are not wrong and we are also not wrong so nobody can do anything about it understood so what is your final answer to those females who are planning to get into oral surgery after bds if that's your first love you should definitely go for it and uh, i think um, your family support especially your parents that is needed because at one point you would maybe break down in the pressure of residency and if they are very supportive if you have a good family support you can i think pass on easily at every stage so it's not that. a big deal you can get into surgery you can excel and that's a really good thing to hear because you've heard a lot of negative com- comments regarding this and such kind of positivity is really good that you're getting here on the channel uh my next question to you is you're doing a lot of surgeries whether it's bsso facial cosmetology and others are there any specific procedures which you personally prefer over others before you listen to the answer to that question please do not forget to hit the like button below because the guest has taken time from a schedule to come and answer these questions so uh, as we said that root canal is the bread and butter of dentistry and endodontics similarly impactions are the bread butter for an oral surgeon so even till now if i do a good trauma if i do a good bsso or even in facial cosmetics if i do a good filler or i do a non surgical facelift or rhinoplasties the the amount of happiness which i get while doing impactions is next level it's like a kick you you do it every day and you just get a kick that that is the most important thing for me wow that's really think, nice and the basis of why we do impactions why we are doing impactions even in exams is because that's a whole surgical procedure you are following each and every principle of surgery into it for a good impaction so that's something i love wow i was expecting some new cosmetic procedure but sure, sir, this please. is very nice yeah yeah that's the kick that's it uh, so any take home advice to all the dentists who are watching if you male or a female who are watching this uh just a piece of advice or maybe a thought process which i have followed is if you really love oral surgery don't have options if you have options don't go into oral surgery number one and number two is always always uh, be stubborn about your choices if you get into something because there would be ups and downs for for a guy also for a female also there would be ups and downs but i think your mental thought process and uh, your will power because you should have a vision that this is what i want to do because there are colleges where you can just sit at home and you can also pass your bds or you know on paper you can become an oral surgeon but that's not something you should aim for um that's it there would be ups and downs for everybody just go for it if you love it i understood uh, that's really like good advice because i've seen a lot of young dentists struggle with it they take advice and they just get into it and later whenever there is a down they tend to think whether they are on the right track or not so ups and downs is a part and parcel of any career growth or journey you go through 
that's a really good advice dr and you know once and you know once it's over even my juniors when they call me that ma'am this is happening back to back duties are going on i just say that just pass this phase once you are on the other side of the journey you will really miss those days i still miss those night duties i still miss those you know tantrums that used to happen on rounds so that is a beautiful journey of 3 years and it is it is the best even even more than bds or more than school i miss my residency oh that's nice i can understand your true love for oral <laughs> surgery by talking uh-huh. to you and yeah. your instagram page is really nice i see you giving amazing lectures across india hope to see more from you thank you dr monica for thank giving you so your much. time thank and you. joining us thank you if you like this video there are two other videos which are linked which would give you a lot of value do not forget to check them out